Okay, hello and welcome to this PHP basics tutorial on um, variables. Um, so basically what a variable is in PHP is the same as any other language, except in PHP it's made a little bit easier because you don't have to specifi specify any types or anything like that. Um, I thought I should just quickly say as well, this variables.php file um, is the only file we're going to be working with, it's just this single file here. I've got it open in my browser here and you can see at the moment it does absolutely nothing. So um, a variable in PHP is indicated by the dollar sign symbol um, and generally it's just um, like lowercase letters that follow it. So say if I just did the dollar sign and then test this would create a, well this would be a variable test. So you can see my syntax highlighting has made it blue. Without this it's not, so blue means variable, simple. Um, so you can um, give a variable a value, it's called defining a variable. And you do this by writing the variable name like this with the dollar sign and then the sort of name of it. <coughs> and then you just use the equals symbol and then the value you want to give that variable. So you could give it a string value by using uh, quotes like so. So I could just set this equal to string value, anything like that. Um, this can contain like any character basically, any, well, any text I suppose um, and then say we can uh, sort of use this value later on so we could do like echo test and that will output the contents of that variable um, to the screen so let's reload this page string value appears so that's basically what variable is it's some somewhere you can store data to use or manipulate in some way further on further down the script so here we're just outputting it, but say we wanted to sort of do something with it, to actually process it in some way. Um, we could use, we could for example output it in reverse order for a string using the strrev function, which is short for string reverse. Reload the page, and we get the string sort of backwards. So you can see that's string value. Um, so there you go, you can sort of manipulate a variable, um, the data in a variable. And doing this here will not affect the value of the variable. So we just do that like that. And then here, do echo test. This will just output string value directly. Because the function returns the value, it doesn't actually affect the value of the variable. You see here we just get string value. So that's something to think about. Um, you can also give variables a value that's numeric, like um, so if we, do, if we don't use single quotes, we could give them a value like a number, say 14. And then we could just do, say, echo, oops, test again. And this will just output 14 to the screen, like that. Um, and also you can use decimal numbers, so you could have like 14.4. And again, echo variable, same thing happens. So that's basically what a variable is. Um, you can kind of, well, I'm going to say you can combine them, that's not really what you can do. But let's say you had one variable, like, let's just rename this to um, var1. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I should mention. You can use numbers um, in the variable name, but they can't be the first character. So you see here we have var1, and it's still blue. If I put a 1 here, it goes not blue, which means that it's not allowed. So numbers can be used in variable names, but not the first character. Underscores are also allowed and they can be used anywhere, so you can have var underscore one if it's sort of clearer to you. Um, and uppercase letters as well, that, that's fine, but I tend to always use lowercase, but it's up to you, you're sort of the one coding it, so whatever. Um, so say if we define two variables, like var one and var two, so say we set var two equal to 20, we can sort of do some simple math with these, so we could define another variable, like uh, we call it result, and that can be equal to var1 plus var2 and then if we just down here do echo result it will output the sum of those two numbers which is 34.4 so you can use variables to do simple maths um, what else can I say um, they don't have to just be numbers or strings you can pretty much store anything in a variable so it can be like an object or an array or like a result a resource, uh, so it can be basically anything. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically it for variables. Um, one other thing that I could say is, say you had um, like the variable um, here, var1 is 14.4, say you wanted to add something to it, you could just do var1 equals var1 plus like 10, and what this would do is recall the value of var1, add 10 to it, and then assign that whole thing back to var1. Um, but a sort of shorthand for this is the plus equals assignment thingy operator to use the proper term. So instead of um, equals var1 plus 10, you just do plus equals. And what that will do is add 10 to the current value of var1. So it's kind of like a little shorthand thing. So if you just down here do echo var1, reload our page, we see we get 24.4, which is 14.4 plus 10. Um, this is that this works for all of the mathematical things. So you can have minus equals, which gives 4.4. You can have multiply equals, which gives 144, obviously. <laughs> um, divide equals 1.44. Um, what have I forgotten? That's probably it. That, actually, no, that's definitely not it. But they're the ones I'm going over. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and if you just had var1 equals like 14.4 followed by the same variable name equal to 10, um, this will, like down here, where I'm typing all these pointless letters, var1 will be equal to 10. But like here, var1 will be equal to 14.4. So it works like, like top to bottom as you go down the script. So yeah, that's variables. So thanks for watching and hopefully this was useful.